Hey everyone, Melon FPS here. Don't mind my the whole of my shirt's laundry day is the only shirt I can find while I'm recording this. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, welcome to Sensitivity Conversion V2. Um, today we'll be covering converting your sensitivities, obviously, between multiple games. The first version was only for one. This version is going to cover how to do it for pretty much every game in existence. That said, though, there is one game that the new version of this will not work for, and that is Valorant. We, ha we will have to use the old version, which I will be covering in this video. Um, so stick around, Valorant players. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave you abandoned. Um, um, it just we have to do a slightly different method. Um, so hopefully by the end of this video we will be able to one for one your sensitivities between multiple games. We will also be giving you something called a baseline sensitivity. Now it goes by a lot of different names. I just call it baseline. Basically what a baseline sensitivity is is that it's the sensitivity everything else is based off of. So let's say in the future, if when Halo Infinite comes out, you want to play with your friends, instead of having to spend like 30, 40 minutes trying to figure out the sensitivity scale and all this kind of stuff, you can just plug in this baseline sensitivity into Kovac Sense Matcher, which we'll be showing you how to do. Spend two, three minutes matching your sensitivities and you're good to go. Um, so that'll be a huge help in the future when you want to convert your sensitivities between different games. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so there are two tools we will be primarily using today. One is a website called mousesensitivity.com. It's an online database of a bunch of sensitivity uh, scales and conversion ratios, which are incredibly useful for converting between games. It's pretty accurate. I haven't really had that many problems with it. I know there are a lot of other sensitivity matchers online, but this one has the most games on it and is the most reliable out of all the ones I've seen. Um, and then the other tool we're going to be using is called Kovac Sensitivity Matcher, um, which is more of like a diagnostic tool I would say more than anything it's really helpful for fine-tuning micro problems and kind of figuring out and troubleshooting what issues there could be with a conversion um, now I will make a quick note about both programs um, security concerns obviously are a big thing nowadays I've been using these programs for almost about a year and a half now I have never had a problem with either sites you should have no problems if you would like to be 100% safe, I have both the programs linked in the description and I will be actively updating those links if there are any future patches. So please use the links in the description just to make sure you don't miss anything important. Um, and then one other thing I would like to mention, mousesensitivity.com does have a paid subscription feature. You do not need to pay to convert your sensitivities today. We will only be using the free tools on the website. I have been using the site for again a year and a half and I have never even had the thought of paying for it because there's nothing that you get for paying that I find useful. Um, so don't worry about paying, you don't need to pay, we'll be doing everything for free today and no worries about that kind of stuff. Alrighty, so the, in the description there'll be a link to Kovac Sensitivity Matcher. Go ahead and click that and it will take you to this webpage here. What you want to do is you want to go to this page right here, download the latest version. And then it will take you to a GitHub page here. And then you want to download this, the 64-bit version right here. I've never had a problem with it triggering any kind of false positive. So don't worry about the 32-bit. Just download the 64-bit for now. Go ahead and do that. And then now you, what you want to do is you want to extract this and put this somewhere where you're going to, where it's going to be easily accessible. Now, for me, I'd recommend making a uh, folder on your desktop called AIM and dumping everything in there. We'll be putting a couple other things in this folder as well during this video. So keep it somewhere safe and make sure you don't delete it or anything like that. Alrighty, now a quick little note for the Counter-Strike Global Offensive players or Apex players watching this video. You can actually skip this step entirely. Uh, we will actually be converting from the first game to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, a source game, which is the exact same as Apex, and we'll be setting Kovax to use that same sensitivity scale. So you guys can just skip ahead to when I'm setting up Kovax Sensitivity Matcher in a couple minutes, um, but for the rest of you, just follow my instructions here. Now, pretty much the only values you need to care about on this website is the game, the sensitivity, the DPI, and the FOV, and very rarely the FOV typing. I think I've had to use this button maybe once in about a year. Um, now, it is incredibly important to make sure you have the proper values here, especially the DPI, FOV, and sensitivity. They're all important, but these ones, are, these ones in particular, uh, because if these are set incorrectly, it can massively throw off your conversions. Um, you can actually see here in Splitgate how a difference of 90 to 103 FOV makes almost like an inch to an inch and a half difference in the actual rotation. <laughs> um, so be sure to put in the right information and double check inside the game's files. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in Valorant. And then we're going to go ahead and put in our sensitivity and then our DPI. Now, if you don't know what your DPI is, go ahead and check your mouse's control software. It should list it somewhere inside there. Alrighty. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this box here and we're going to type in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, 
As I mentioned before, we are going to be using Kovac Sensitivity Matcher and to emulate the source engine or the source sensitivity scale. In order for us to convert properly, we need to convert Valorant to the source sensitivity scale, which is thankfully very easy to do. So again, just type in Global Offensive, type in DPI. Again, make sure it's the same one as above and make sure you write this down. Again, auto-filled all the necessary information for us, so we're good there. Now, the, a quick little verification step we can do here is we can verify that the 360 distance or the inches per 360 is the same between both of these. The website will actually tell us the discrepancy, but I just check it myself just to be 100% sure. Now, out of all these values, the only things we care about is the sensitivity, the 360 difference, and the DPI we converted with. That is the only things we care about. In the AIM file that we exported a Kovac sensitivity matcher into, go ahead and make a text document and write down CSGO and then put in this sensitivity, the 360 difference, and the DPI you used to convert. All right, now, as I mentioned before, the new method doesn't work for Valorant, so let me quickly show you guys how to convert to Valorant. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the game you're coming from. I'm going to go ahead and put in Apex Legends. I'm going to put in our sensitivity. Put in your DPI again, 800. Um, make sure you put in the proper FOV coming from your game. So for me, that's 103. And then we're going to select Valorant as the game we're converting to. Go here, put in the same DPI again. And then we can check here and we have a discrepancy of zero inch zero inches and the new sensitivity is right here the 360 differences are the same don't worry about the pixel ratio that's okay no, it won't affect us at all and there's the valorant sensitivity now again i understand oh like you can't verify how do you know this is true i have done a bunch of testing and i have done hundreds of calculations to valorant and valorant has probably the most accurate scale i've ever seen and i have never had a problem so for all the Valorant players, your conversion is super simple, just one for one, you're done and good to go. Alrighty, now that we've converted to CSGO, now our job is to convert from CSGO to the new game we're going to. So we're going to go ahead and here, type in Global Offensive. We're going to put in the sensitivity that was given to us earlier, so I'm going to go grab that real quick, baseline. So there is our sensitivity right here. So we're going to go ahead and pop that in the top box here. Sorry for the bad window placement, I apologize. Uh, and then we're going to go put in the same DPI as we did before. And then for this example, I'm going to convert to Splitgate. But again, it could be whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and type that in. So Splitgate. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the FOV. Now, again, if the new game you're running a different FOV, be sure to input that or the conversion will be incorrect. 800. Perfect. Alrighty. So then we do all that. And now we have our new sensitivity. So again, we can check the distance, which is almost identical. There's a very, very, very minor discrepancy. So we don't need to worry about that here. All we, again we care about is the horizontal sensitivity and the 360 distance. Now again, go ahead and copy those off onto your document as we'll need those in a second. And then next we're gonna set up Kovac Sensitivity Matcher. All right, so to start up Kovac Sensitivity Matcher, go ahead and click on the Sensitivity Matcher EXE where you extracted your file. And then it's going to open up a little window here. Now go ahead and give us a quick read of this. It will guide you on the instructions on how to use the program. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is, is see this up here, this preset y'all. You're going to want to set this to quake slash source. Now I believe it defaults to this value. However, make sure it's set to that. Next, you're going to want to go to physical stats and you're going to want to change this box right here to your mouse's DPI. Now ensure that this DPI is the same one you've been putting into mousesensitivity.com to ensure your conversions are correct. Next, you want to go down here to this turn circumference area. Under here, you'll see an inches per revolution or an inches per 360 box. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to our baseline sensitivity that we wrote down earlier, and we want to take the inches per 360 value we got from that, copy that, and replace the information here with that, and go ahead and hit enter. Now, when you do that, a bunch of things are going to change. It will give you all this information. You can go ahead and just hit lock and just close this window here. Now, what you'll see here, the biggest thing is that the sensitivity has completely changed. So we can actually re-verify that our conversion was correct by comparing this number and the number we got here. Now, obviously there is a difference after the fourth decimal point, but I honestly wouldn't be worried about that. We're talking like a micromillimeter difference. So this is a 100% conversion. If you really want to check it, you can actually go back into the game you are converting from, leaving sensitivity matcher open, Go find something static against the wall that you can um, compare the crosshair moving on, like you see me doing in CSGO here, and hit Alt and Backspace. That will tell Sensitivity Matcher to move the mouse in the inches per 360 value we gave it. So it'll be 3.2143 inches. If the, if the crosshair ends up in the exact same spot, your conversion is 100% correct. 
Now, if it doesn't end up in the same spot, go back and re-verify all the information you've put into both Sense Matcher and Kovac Sensitivity Matcher and what the original game files you originally imported. If your FOV is off by a little bit, as we saw with Splitgate, it can cause a lot of problems. So be sure to triple check that if you have problems. Alrighty, now the, for the Apex Legends and Counter-Strike Global Offensive players, all you guys need to do to uh, set up Kovac Sensitivity Matcher is set this to Quake Source, go ahead and put in your in-game sensitivity, go to Physical Stats, put in your mouse's DPI, and that's it. Um, they will auto-calculate the inches per revolution for you, and it will just automatically convert. Um, if you'd like, you can go into the game of choice. As you can see here, I'm just checking my apex sensitivity and the firing range. As long as your crosshair goes back into the exact same spot, or very close to, you're completely fine. Your conversion was one for one. Now, go ahead and write down the inches per revolution here, and the DPI and the sensitivity, as this will be used as your baseline sensitivity for the future. So go ahead and hold on to that. All right, so now that it's done, all we need to do is hop into the game we want to convert to and test the sensitivity. Now, it is very important that you go ahead and set all of your settings to be what you put into sensitivity matchers. So if you run a custom FOV, make sure that's implemented and make sure you put in the sensitivity you got from mousesensitivity.com. Um, this is my personal settings. I didn't change my stuff, but it should work fine when you get into when you put your stuff in. So go to the training range or whatever you can and grab something with a scope. Um, you can do it on a static object that's closer, but I find it a little easier to do scope stuff just because it shows uh, errors a little better. Go ahead and look at something. So I'm going to look at this training dummy right here. And then what we're going to want to do is uh, make sure Kovac Sensitivity Matcher is open. Hit the shortcut, Alt Backspace, causing our uh, view to go do a 360. And if your crosshair goes back into the same spot, You've successfully converted your sensitivity. Now, if it doesn't work, verify again that your FOV is correct and all that, and the sensitivity is correct. Sometimes there are problems with the sensitivity scale in this game. Like for instance, Splitgate. I haven't touched my mouse at all, but my crosshair moved a little bit. That is a game-specific thing. Don't know why it happens, but sometimes you'll run into little problems like that. So you may have to do a little bit of fine-tuning, but that's exactly what Kovac Sensitivity Matcher is for. Um, but hopefully, your crosshair went to the same place and you have successfully converted your sensitivity to your new game. All right, so let's say you followed the video and you did all this instructions and you go to check it with Sen Kovac Sensitivity Matcher and it's not working. And you're like, Melon, what the fuck? Completely fair. Now, unfortunately, Kovac Sensitivity Matcher is a really useful tool, but it's not perfect. There are sometimes the games interpret the input incorrectly or an anti-cheat prevents it from working entirely, like we have with Valorant. So in that case, your best way to verify is to do what we did with Valorant earlier. You verify the inches per 360. So go ahead and re-verify all the information you put into uh, mousesensitivity.com initially from your first game, and then do the conversion again to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then go from Global Offensive to the next game. As long as the inches per revolution from your first game is the same as the game you convert to at the end from Counter-Strike Global Offensive, your sensitivity is correct. Now, there may be some very slight differentials, like we're talking like a couple pixels and that kind of stuff. That stuff you may have to fine tune manually. That's where Kovac Sensitivity Matcher comes in usually and is very helpful. But unfortunately, if you can't do it, you have to do it by hand. However, your sensitivity should be close enough where you can figure it out by hand. And that's it, you're done. Um, now, again, one last note for all of you, be sure to write down the information for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the sensitivity we converted to. Be sure to write down the inches per revolution, the DPI, and the sensitivity, because that is your baseline. So in the future, if you want to go to a new game, all you have to do is plug that information into Kovac Sensitivity Matcher, launch up the new game, and then just repeat the same process I just did with Splicate to one for one your aim. Now, if you have problems and you can't find answers, where do you go to? One great resource is, again, mousesensitivity.com's forums. Everyone there is super helpful, and they're pretty quick at getting back to you. So if you have any problems, go ahead and contact them. If you have any other questions, or if you want me to convert AIM to a specific game and that kind of stuff, leave a comment down below. I'll try and help everyone. I apologize if I can't do everyone's stuff, but I will get to as many people as I can. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Um, if this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, please pl uh, consider leaving a like. It's a huge help for me. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more content like this in the future, so if you guys want to see a particular game covered or a particular sensitivity, um, I will be doing that. I am also working on a sensitivity guide for Splitgate and a settings guide for Splitgate, which will be coming out in probably the next week or two. Um, so go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that and keep your eyes peeled for anything else coming up on the channel. Um, but again, thank you for watching and uh, best of luck. Take care.